So, um, and then you would just go to uh, go ahead and click and solve. Um, and so I've already got one loaded up so we can take a look at what solutions look like. So once you've done all these inputs, what happens? So, um, so I loaded up actually a slightly different board, very similar, 9, 5, 2. Um, and um, I'm going to talk about the preflop ranges um, later. Uh, they're, um, they're sort of near GTO estimates. I'll talk about what that means soon. But um, so I've got some preflop ranges fixed, and I fixed the board, and, um, and I fixed it to be half pot C batting. And the half pot sizing is just going to be standard size that's being used. And then we can sort of take a look at what happens. Um, so this one has, uh, so if you look at um, originally, we do show complete strategy, um, you sort of get a really sometimes big tree. Um, this one actually has it forced to check, um, but it actually doesn't end up mattering. It actually almost always checks on the sport texture. Um, so it just makes the tree look a little prettier to force it to check in the end. Um, and you can see, I mean, it's kind of a big tree, but then you can always make your tree a little smaller by doing only show equilibrium path. And what I'll do is there's a bunch of these little um, branches that have very low frequencies um, or zero frequencies. And if you click on that, it'll just get rid of them and make your tree nice and sim much simpler. So this is sort of what your solution will end up looking like. It'll look like a tree because it gives you a strategy. Again, GTO is a strategy. So it's, you know, it's not just going to be a chart because you want to know what happens at every decision point on the flop. And so what we can immediately see, you know, villain, we have checking, but then um, you could click on each node and sort of get information. And so first off, you can look at the GTO strategy. You click this and you visualize it and you can see the actual strategy um, done with color coding. So the way it works is um, green is bet or raise. So in this case, it's C bet. Yellow is check or call. So in this case, it's check. Um, and red is fold. In this case, we can't fold because we're in position because uh, out of position check to us. And so um, what we can see is all the relative frequencies of how often it does what. And so, for instance, it's always c betting aces, kings, queens. It's never c betting six two, um, five two. Interestingly, oh no, it always c bet. Sorry. Um, it's almost never c betting four two off, three two off. Um, and for every hand, if you scroll over it, you'll be able to see what sort of all the different combos do. So here's, for instance, ten six, and it turns out that every combo of ten six is betting. Um, but it's slightly reversed to bet 10-6 of clubs and spades. 10-6 um, of clubs is a flush draw. 10-6 of spades is a backdoor flush draw. So if we look over at, for instance, jack-2, um, we can see that it's um, checking back jack-2 of clubs um, very often, but actually c-betting jack-2 of diamonds and jack-2 of hearts. Um, obviously, there's no jack-2 of spades because there's a 2 of spades on the board, so that's why it's missing that combo. So if we look at king of... Uh, king queen you can see all the different combos of king queen off and all the different things they do so you can see that king of clubs queen of diamonds bets 11 percent of the time whereas um king of spades queen of hearts bets 28 percent of the time um a lot of that times things will look kind of weird sometimes it's it's like really subtle stuff like blocker effects sometimes it's more obvious stuff like backdoor flush draws or really obvious stuff like flush draws um you know that'll make the difference uh, so obviously jack four clubs is sort of a different hand than the other ones. Uh, but you'll have to, you can sort of take a look at them always. Uh, and so this is sort of an example of a solution um, for c -betting. And so this tells you, you know, how often it's c-betting what. And we'll dive into that um, more when we look to analyze these solutions. Um, and then you can sort of follow the tree along. So if we did c-bet, what happens? Um, so then villain is going to do this. He's going to call this percent of the time, fold this percent of the time, and raise this percent of the time. You can see all the frequencies right here. So you click on the node, and then here is uh, the stuff. So, so there's GTO strategy, but then you can also look at um, the different ranges and look at EVs. So for instance, we can look at villain's range. So this is going to be just a starting range. And we can see all the different EVs of his action. So once our opponents, so once we see that, and our opponent looks at his hand, um, he can sort. Of, you can sort of see what EV different hands have. So for instance, nine five is top two pair, and it's got a really high EV. That's why it's uh, a brighter color. Um, on the other hand, um, you know, some really junky hand like I don't know ten four off um, has an EV of zero. It's just going to be check folded. Um, and then again, of course, if we look at GTO strategy, we can actually see what each hand's doing.